Okay, welcome back, second grade to art. I cannot believe we are in week number two of December. And last time I saw you, I had you work on making eight cones and gluing them together. And some of mine, I just taped on the back. Just like that, I think you can see that. Okay. And today, we're gonna move on to part number two. Now, I'm gonna take my little craft scissors here, and I, I actually, at first I thought, oh no, I don't have big scissors, but these are gonna work out great. Because now what I wanna do is on the first cone, don't cut all the way around, don't go on the bottom, just start on the side. You're gonna cut little tiny fringes like this. All the way around. Just like that. Do you see how I did that? Okay. So I'm going to quietly sit here and just create my fringes. And a lot of kids were saying, Mr. Price, what is this thing? Well, I'm going to reveal it in a few minutes. So let's keep working. The one thing I want to say about this, guys, is if you take your time, your art projects will come out nice. You don't always have to be the most creative or the most talented to make beautiful art. If you take your time and follow the steps, your project will be beautiful. But I think a lot of kids have to learn something called patience, right? Because kids in school will say, Mr. Price, you didn't fast forward your video. Mr. Price, you didn't speed it up. Mr. Price, you didn't tell us what it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? Well, I want you to take your time and learn, right? So sometimes I don't reveal what we're making because I want you to focus on what you're doing, not rush ahead. Because sometimes if you know what you're making, you try to skip ahead and then it's not going to look as nicely as it could look. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going here. And for this part, I will fast forward for you. Whew, okay, I'm done now. Okay, so I have all my fringes like that. And now what I need to do is I'm gonna take another piece of paper and I'm gonna roll it up like this. Like, you know, loosely, whatever. Kind of like a cone, right? That looks like a cone from last time. And I'm gonna tape it and just kind of fidget with it here. Because I'm gonna be shredding this up in a second. And I'm going to take my scissors before I tape it inside the last cone. And I'm gonna just start hacking into it like this because we're going to be making a beautiful koi fish. A koi fish happens to be one of those beautiful fish that you see in a pond. And they have beautiful long bodies and beautiful long tails. So what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and just cutting into that swirled paper. Do you see what I'm doing? This is creating the tail of the koi fish. So the more you cut, and the curvier you cut, the more dramatic your tail will be. So I'm just gonna hack into it here. And this is what I love about art. Just taking scraps and just playing with, look at the tail already. So I'm gonna take this, Put a little more tape on it. Hey, it looks like one of those party things. Ooh, right? And I'm gonna glue it into the back of the last cone. I think I'll tape it just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, good. So fix that up, and do you see the beautiful tail on the fish? So now he has a tail, he has a nice long body, and now I need to work on the head. 
So to make the head, it's super easy. I'm just gonna take that cone, and koi fish kind of have a nice big mouth. So I'm just gonna go and lock off the tip of that cone, and look what that did. Do you see how it instantly started to turn it into the mouth of a fish? And now, I'm going to just sculpt his body a bit more by just flattening it. And there. Do you see the fish body? And now he's missing his side fins and his bottom fins. So just like I did with this piece, I'm going to take pieces and scraps of paper and glue them to his tummy and onto the sides and onto the top. Okay. So all I did was I collapsed a bunch of paper and I'm just going to go in and hack away at this and cut a variety of stripes going up and around and down. And this one I'm just going to hack off and save it for later. But you see what that did? It created all these beautiful pieces that I can now use. And look, I'm ripping it. It's okay. Get in there and use your fingers. I'm going to take a little glue for this, and I think I'm going to work on the side fins, just like that. And I'm going to put... I think I'll use a little tape because it just fell onto the floor there, but when I have more time, I'm going to glue it, but just for today because I want you to see how to do it. Put fins. Oh, look at that. See his fin on the side? And I can go in and sculpt it out a bit more, but I'm going to do the fins on the other side like this. Then I'm going to tuck some into the top here to make a top fin. And I'm going to put some at the bottom, just like that. Okay? So for today, you're cutting into your cones, you're making the tail, you're gluing on the beautiful fins on the side, front and back, bottom and top, okay? So when you have that done, oh, and I'm sorry, make his mouth. Tuck him away, and next week I will show you part three three. Okay, boys and girls, have a great time making your beautiful fish, and I will see you next time. Talk to you soon.